بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his authentic sunnah showed us every kind of khair every kind of way in which there's khair He showed us everything every path which there is success and that is what makes up the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam everything that's good and that's what we're ordered to follow the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and trusting putting our trust in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that what he showed believing in that which he is showing us and that which he illustrated for us is the best possible way is the best way to come closer to Allah the Almighty the creator of the heavens and earth that's a part of loving Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in kuntum tuhibbuna if 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 you really love Allah, then follow the Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam. And one of the ways that we can follow the Sunnah is, of course, by acting upon what we've been ordered to act uh, to act upon, and following that which we have been ordered to act upon. And practicing that which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam practiced. And when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave us advice, that we follow it. Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam showed us the best possible path. And in an authentic hadith on Abi Musa Al Ash'ari, Radiallahu Ta'ala. عن أبي موسى الأشعري رضي الله تعالى عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال ألا أدلك على خنز من خنوز الجنة قلت بلى يا رسول الله قال قل لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله رواه مسلم إن سديت الرسول صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم said to Abi Musa al-Ash'ari radiallahu ta'ala anhu he said shall I show you a treasure from amongst the treasures of Jannah of paradise and he said yes O messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he answered sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by saying say لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. There is no power nor might except with Allah. And this was collected. This was narrated in Muslim, Sahih Muslim. In this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم showed us and advised us. He asked a question. He said, "Shall I show you?" One of the treasures, a, a treasure from amongst the treasures of Jannah, meaning that there's many treasures of Jannah, many sabil, many ways to paradise. And he uh, he responded in the affirmative, as was the case with the Sahaba, the Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, radiyallahu ta'ala majma'in, that they wanted to know that which was going to help them and benefit them. They wanted to know the sabil as najat. They wanted to know the path of khair. They wanted to know the surat al-mustaqeen. They wanted all the khair. They wanted to know that which was right and that which was correct from the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Say, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no might nor power except with Allah. So that lets us know that's one of the treasures of Jannah and that also illustrates for us as Ibn Uthaymeen Alama Ibn Uthaymeen Rahimahullah Ta'ala was showing us or compiled this in his treaties when he said that this is 
illustrates for us the fadl of dhikr the importance of making adhkar of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often and that illustrates for us that very point that any of us can make dhikr to Allah it's very simple it's not com complicated it's easy it requires just intention and moving our tongues in a manner that's mashru' by uttering kalimat that remembers Allah and having your your heart directed towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who remember Him often and to be of those who attain the many treasures of Jannah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.